Hello and welcome to another quick tip tutorial from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to talk about managing the custom menus and toolbars, uh, how to import them and export them, how to get the contents from one toolbar into another toolbar, because uh, there is a trick to that. I'm going to assume that you've already done some customization. Let's look at exporting all of your menus. So export, export all menus slash toolbars to Reaper menu set file. And then I would go to the menu sets folder and then enter it however you want. I already did one today. I'm going to hit cancel. You can also export one individually with this other option. And again, just put it into the menu set folder so it's easy to find. Uh, the one I actually want to import today, I modified my MIDI piano roll toolbar, exported it, and then reset it to default so that I could show you kind of a before and after. Here's the default MIDI piano roll toolbar. I want to bring in my customized uh, piano roll toolbar into floating MIDI toolbar one. So by default, it's just empty. If I hit import, choose my piano roll, hit OK, and unfortunately, it's locked to the original uh, piano roll toolbar. So it can't get into here. So I'll show you how to fix that. In Finder or Explorer, you take your export a menu set, and you drop it into a plain text editor. Right at the top, this defines what toolbar or menu these actions belong to. So you just have to rename it. So floating MIDI toolbar one, save, close. Now we go back into Reaper, import, grab the same file, open, and I brought it in, no problem. I don't even need to hit save, close, and I just need to switch the toolbar to MIDI 1. And here's my custom toolbar uh, with all the actions that I've been adding to this toolbar for, I don't know, five years. I'll have another video coming up uh, going through what I've done to this toolbar to make it custom and uh, what I've done to speed up my workflow. The main thing I wanted to show you was just that little hack to rename your toolbars in case you want to move things around. Another thing is that you can just uh, kind of hack this, copy and paste from different toolbars, and actually edit this outside of Reaper. Sometimes that's the easier option. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out reaperblog.net for lots more tutorials, and I'll see you guys soon.